Chicago, Patrick Swayze. Blair from the Facts of Life, Lisa Welchel. From Fox's hit show 24, Carlos Bernard. Learn a low-fat chicken dish from star chef Johnny Chow. Plus Peter Michael Escovito and the PME5. I'm Ellen Kay, your announcer. And now the girls from the Ridwich Salon, bring them out! guest as the rich and spoiled Blair Warner from TV's The Facts of Life. Yeah, she's now a passionate educator and author. Please welcome Lisa Welchel. Oh. It's so cool seeing you last time and the first time that I ever saw you when, when I met you was when we did our uh, week's worth of shows at Disney and you were in the audience. Yeah, we were big fans. We were excited to be there. Well, thank you for bringing you and your family, in fact, your lovely daughters in the audience right yes, now Yes, I us. had to bring Clancy. She's the biggest fan of all. Actually, just about a month ago in their youth group, the uh, youth director asked, now, if you could have a conversation with anybody, who would it be? And my oldest daughter said President Bush. You know, I'm just really proud. Homeschool right, educator, you know. And Clancy said Wayne Brady. <laughs> Thank you, Clancy. Thank you. Well, we might have to bring Clancy up on stage at some point so so we can talk. I will have a no, conversation with No, 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 because Clancy. she's actually, she's really honest. I have to work on that with my oh. kids. <laughs> oh, she doesn't have the editing button yet. She's not yet. I'm still uh, working on that. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you in 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> Now, because I had to do research on you. Okay. I had, had to. to. So I, sorry. I had to. No, no, I had to in a good way. I was thrilled, thrilled that you're coming. Did you call my grandmother? I've heard, yes. And she's so nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And she told me about the sailor outfit. She did? Yes. Okay. Well, yes. Can she give you the picture? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so cute. Now, before Facts of Life, you were a Mouseketeer yes. on the then New Mickey Mouse Club. What was the New Mickey Mouse Club then? Right. Did you hear that? <laughs> now, some folks came on and they sang and some people danced. How did you get the job? I got the job uh, by doing a ventriloquism routine. And not only did you just do it, you actually were really good at ventriloquism. Uh, well, yeah, uh, I, I've been doing ventriloquism since I was seven. My, my, uh, I wanted an excuse to audition for the school talent show. The first time I tried tumbling and I didn't get in. So the second time I tried ventriloquism, I got in and won. Well, what I want you to do is I'm looking for something. Can you throw your voice to something or like... Well, I usually use a dummy of... Oh, you'll do. Uh, <laughs> here, here, here. You sit on my lap. Okay. Now, when I squeeze the back of your neck, you open your mouth, okay? Hi there! I'm Wayne! And I just love to have Lisa Lucho on my show! Good job! <laughs> I got to sit in your lap. <laughs> and I got to pull your chain. Yes, and I'm a great big dummy. Now, now people like myself, when I saw you, and I'm a little embarrassed, I'm sorry, they're like, oh my God, it's Blair, it's Blair. Is it weird to have people still freak out and say, oh, it's Blair, and, and come at you that way, or, or has enough time passed that you embrace that? You know what, that's the point. As I've gotten older, I really, just begun to really appreciate the, the privilege of back then being able to bring joy to so many people in their living rooms once a week. And then now, because I think because a lot of the girls that watched the show and grew up on the show, we kind of developed a relationship of right. sorts. And so now, while I'm going out and speaking and writing books, I can speak into their lives about their kids or whatever, and it's, they're, not, they're not threatened. They're saying, you know what? I kind of learned the facts of life from her. I'll learn a little bit more. So right. it really is a privilege. Now, when you speak and you write, 
when you're speaking, you're right. You're an advocate for homeschooling, and and we have a series of uh, of D DVDs that are teaching people how to homeschool their their children. Yes. Well, no, not actually. The, that DVD that we're offering is. Uh, the standard deviance, which is a sample of some of the uh, DVDs that are okay. offered on Mentor.com, which is a, a, a website that I just fell in love with as a homeschool parent. But it's not just for homeschoolers. It's just for anybody who is concerned about their kids and what they watch. And so it's very family friendly, a lot of educational stuff. And so it does work for homeschoolers, but any parent that's concerned. We about actually it. have the video right here, the the DVD. And actually, they're going to be giving them away to Every everybody person in the, the audience. audience is going to receive like this, courtesy of Lisa and Mentura. Now, I have a question for you. What are the pros to homeschooling? Because Mandy and I have been talking about this, and it's so early. You know, Miley's only 11 months old. I actually really want her to be homeschooled, and Mandy wants her to go to public school so, so she, she, she doesn't miss out on the camaraderie and that experience. Mm -hmm. How do you homeschool your child and still give them social interaction? Because no one wants a really smart baby that can't talk to people. I, I'm a genius. Yeah. <laughs> that is one of the most, probably the most common myth about homeschooling. I actually wrote a book called So You're Thinking About Homeschooling. And the reason I did is because so many people do think about it, but then they think, oh, you know, they have a stereotypical picture about what a homeschool family looks like. Right. And they think, oh, I don't think I want that. And yet that's just not what homeschooling is about. What is so crazy about the whole socialization question, it, my kids, they have been all over the world. We took a trip around America in an RV for a year, went to 44 different states. Uh, they have been, you know, they've come to be on the Wayne Brady Show. They interact with adults, with little kids all day long. They're not stuck in a classroom with 30 kids their same age every day. And so I think they're much, you know, as far as socialization goes, mm -hmm. I would rather have them have that experience than a, a typical traditional school experience. Good answer. Well, that settles it. You're coming over to my house to tell Mandy that she's going to be homeschooling. We'll just let her watch the show. How about that? Good. <laughs> now, now um, you also do a retreat for moms. Yes, that's where my passion is right now is, is just pouring into moms' lives because moms give and they give and they give and they give and they rarely take time to to receive and yet if you don't receive you don't have anything to give right. and so I host weekend retreats called mom time getaways and it's at an upscale hotel and we have massage therapists come in give them neck and shoulder massages we throw out chocolate into the audience we show we have a pajama party and show old facts of life videos you know we have uh, when did the daddies get away oh, no. when the daddies get okay no the daddy daddies like facts of life okay too. daddies get three <laughs> stay home and learn what mommies do the whole rest of the year so when they come home they are they are down on their knees saying thank you, thank you, thank you. sounds good it's all part of the retreat sounds good <laughs> now if someone wanted to take a retreat how would they find out about it on my website which is lisawelcher.com and there's a section on there for mom time sweet folks you heard it hey um and if you want to know more about men mentura Log on to WayneBradyShow.com, and we have a whole page. And not you can only that, but for ev all of your viewers, not only here in the studio, but mm -hmm. everywhere that are watching, it's uh, they're offering one month free. All you have to do is log on there, give it a try for a month. There's no obligation, and I'm telling you, you'll be hooked. Come on, folks. Free is good. Yeah. Lisa, can you stick around and help me play a game? I love games. Cool. Folks, we have games coming up when we come back. <laughs> Still to come, get the behind-the-scenes scoop on the hit show 24 from the handsome Carlos Bernard. Now, because Lisa Wilson was on the show, it reminded me how much I love the sitcoms of the 80s because she played Blair on Facts of Life. I love the show. So today, we're going to play a game called Catchphrase. And everything I act out, it's going to be the, the title of a popular 80s sitcom. So it's basically like charades, except I can also speak in gibberish, and I'll be acting everything out, OK? Now, the lady to which I'm speaking, she's our contestant, Darlene Medeiros, from Somerset, Massachusetts. Give, give her a big round of applause. You have now, welcome to the show. Thank you yeah. have 90 seconds to guess all of the things. If you can get five, you will win a prize. Now, if you don't know what's, uh, what I'm uh, giving you the clues for, you can say pass, and I'll go on to the next one. Okay. But you want to get five. Are you ready? I guess. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for being such an enthusiastic person. I am very excited. I just, I, I, yes, oh yes, and you can give her can, all, oh, all well, the help that she needs. Well, now I'm ready then. See, good. <laughs> and I'm ready. We're actually playing for this. 
You're playing for this. This is a monitor. is a planar LCD TV and PC monitor, meaning you can hook it up to your computer, but it, but it also is used as a TV from planar. Planar, thank you folks very much for giving us this. Every time you get one right, you'll hear this. Good, that means that, that you got it right. Start the clock, here we go. Go. Okay. Um. seconds after the time, but in an unprecedented move, oh we are going to give you guys in the audience the chance to determine whether or not Darlene gets the monitor, yes or no. Thank you so much, Lisa. You get it. Go ahead and take your monitor, and you get a t-shirt. You can take it. Folks, we'll be right back. Captioning for The Wayne Brady Show is sponsored by 